Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa and you're watching Growing on Vancouver Island. I had no intention of filming a video today, although I haven't filmed a garden video in a long time. I was going to get back to them after Halloween, but I finally have my long-awaited vacation. So I'm out in my garden and I made the most exciting discovery and I just could not help but to turn on my camera. So let me show you what I found in my vegetable garden. So I was just out and about to start cleaning up this hot mess of a vegetable garden. I cleaned up one side partially and then I was just going to start tackling this side. I just found a mystery squash that I did not know was here. So I brought it in the house. I've harvested three squash and one pumpkin and I didn't film it at all because I thought it was a bit boring. But I found something and I could not believe what I found and I'm not even 100% sure what it is. So here it is and Zipper is trying to get it before I do, whatever it is. So first of all, before I show you what I found, take a look at this vine. Now this baffles me because look how lush this is. Now if you compare that to say this vine over here, which is shriveled up squash and pumpkin vine, there is no comparison. This is lush, green, healthy. There is almost nothing wrong with this vine. There's a tiny bit of a black outline on a few leaves, but I didn't even know this was in here. Now I do vaguely remember planting either a yam or sweet potato in here completely randomly because I'm not supposed to be able to grow those in my zone especially not in colder weather I live in I live on central Vancouver Island zone seven to eight typically and this if this is a sweet potato or a yam I don't know why it's actually growing because it's not really supposed to grow here I mean, I've heard you can grow them, but so I'm assuming this is the one I put in the ground and that there's nothing connected to it, but it's possible it grew something under the ground that I'm not even aware of. So maybe I shouldn't be so excited, but I'm going to dig it up with you and let's see what's underground. So I'm not really sure what you can see right now because I can't see what you can see, but here we are uh, amongst the vines and I'm not entirely sure if this is a sweet potato vine, a yam, I'm assuming it's one of the two and not something else. That's all I remember planting. It was a uh, one of the two vegetables, sweet potato or yam, that sprouted in our kitchen from a, just from the produce section at the grocery store. I didn't actually buy this to plant it and I decided to plant it because it was long sprouted. So I'm going to dig it up. Actually, maybe I'll use my hands and see if that works better. Okay, well, hmm, this is interesting. I've dug some of it up. It looks like, it looks like there's nothing attached to it. I guess that's possible. I mean, the vine is attached. It's strange because I remember there being roots coming out of it when I planted it, but other than here, I don't see anything anymore. So I'm not sure what happened to those, but it's a mystery. And now I'm contemplating if I should harvest this vine and maybe make a salad with it. I should probably research that first because I haven't actually eaten sweet potato vine or yam vine, if that's what it is, before I actually try to eat something that I'm not super familiar with. One last note for this quick little video. I just did a little more pulling out and cleaning in my garden and I harvested two more, uh, actually I harvested one more item that I'm not 100% sure what it is, but let me show you what it is and you can be the judge of what you think it is. Here it is. This is my sweet potato or my yam that I just pulled out that is probably the original from when I put it in, I'm assuming. 
And this here is something unknown. Now, I thought the plant I got this from was a cucumber, which is certainly possible, but it almost looks like a squash. However, it does have damage on it. It's got these big cracks. I should say little cracks. They're not that big. But I'm not 100% sure if it's a cucumber or is it a crossbreed of a cucumber mixed with a squash? Something interesting anyway. I will probably be cutting it up and just checking out what it is and what it tastes like just out of curiosity and I'll let you know in the comments section what I discover. I just did a little more cleaning in my garden and made another little squash discovery. Let me show you another unexpected item. <laughs> Here is one little squash. So that brings my squash tally up to four. All of my other ones are actually quite large. This is the smallest one. And my pumpkin's pretty small, but I'm still super excited to have this little baby squash. I'm not 100% sure that this is ripe, but I'm pretty sure it will ripen in my really warm kitchen. So I'm going to pick it now and add it to my squash collection. I just found my mystery potato plant that went missing back in, I want to say June, July. I couldn't find it anymore when I was looking for it and I did film a video that day looking for the mystery potato plant that I knew was here and I just found it and I am so excited. So let's do a little potato harvest. This one was slightly in the ground. I just uprooted it a little bit. That's how I made the discovery. This is what's left of the potato vine. And I'm gonna dig it up for you and show you what's underneath. This is not what you wanna to use typically for digging up potatoes, but I'm not sure where my little garden shovel went and I don't wanna go look for it because it could take a while and it's supposed to rain anytime now, a massive rainstorm. So I'm just gonna go for it with this little shovel and my fingers and hope with this little rake and my fingers and hope that I don't damage the potatoes too badly so oh wow that's a good size one to start add that to the collection I'll just pull this debris out So I'm assuming there must be more potatoes in here. If there were two, there's got to be more, I would think. Oh, I think I see one here. There's a little one. So that's three. Oh, my little rose cutting is still surviving through all of the hot summer. And there's a little baby potato. Ooh, I think there's a deep one in here. Sort of a smallish one. And another one. It always feels like you're digging for buried treasure when you dig for potatoes. Ooh, wow. Wow, that's a pretty good sized potato. I think that's a little baby one and I'm going to leave that in the soil because I wouldn't be mad if it sprouted a new plant for me. Here we have the grand total of potatoes. Two pretty good large ones. A medium one and well three sort of medium ones and two small ones. So that's pretty good considering I didn't even remember this potato plant was in the ground or I didn't know where this potato plant had gone to. I knew it was here somewhere, but eventually it was found. So I decided I would do a little taste test of this mystery vegetable. I'm pretty confident it's a cucumber because when I washed it, it felt like there were maybe some prickles still on it and I don't think squash would have those. So 
gonna cut it open for you. Now, I decided not to use my tripod, so I'm literally cutting with one hand. This is probably a bad idea. Oh, it worked. And we'll do a little taste test. It definitely looks like a cucumber on the inside for the most part. And we'll do a little taste test. Hmm. I can't really see it, but considering it looks really yellow, it actually tastes pretty good. It tastes slightly different than your normal cucumber, but it doesn't really taste bitter, which is extremely surprising to me because it's the end of October and I don't think I'm supposed to be harvesting cucumbers at this time of the year. It's not bad though. It's pretty good. And very juicy. I don't know if you can see that, but they're very juicy. This little guy is extremely interested in what I'm chowing down on. So I'm going to give him a little piece. He has eaten cucumber before. Sometimes he spits vegetables out. And I don't know if he's going to go back. I'm thinking not. But he's... He's not very big on vegetables to begin with, so it's not a big surprise. Thank you for watching this short, unplanned video. I will have more gardening content coming very soon. I hope you are having a lovely day wherever you are, and we will see you in the next video. Take care.